All right, guys, somehow Playboy Cardi has saved his rollout. He just previewed a song with The Weeknd. His single, All Red, seems to be confirmed as a drop, and it really seems like an album is on its way. So anyways, I'm going to talk about Cardi's recent developments within his rollout, what it means, and when it looks like his album is going to release. So before I talk about anything, I kind of want to talk about what fans have coined as the Playboy Cardi cycle. Random promo slash tweets hyping up new music, then an album reportedly dropping the next week, fans going, oh man, he lied to us again after nothing drops, and then everyone's sad. However, this time, it's different. It's different. It's, it's completely different, guys, all right? It's, it's not the same. He's gonna change, I, I promise. All right, so let's go over what happened. Playboy Cardi and The Weeknd just previewed a song in South America, and it's pretty crazy. The song itself, Cardi returned to his normal voice for the first time in like a year or two. Then he switched, he also used like this deep voice and this melodic voice. So he used like three different voices and then, you know, the weekend. Come on. Do I even need to say anything? And you know, of course, fans were super excited. But this isn't the first sign of Playboy Cardi in the weekend uh, being close. First of all, EXO has been fucking with Playboy Cardi for a while. EXO is like the weekend's group slash label. Like NAV is a part of EXO, etc. They both performed with like interesting fits on, be real with you. And recently, Cardi even gifted The Weeknd a double O EXO chain, so like an opium X EXO chain. And by the way, there's also another thing that's kind of interesting about this. Drake fans got butthurt. If you don't know, Drake previewed a song with Playboy Cardi called No Face. In it, Playboy Cardi was technically featured, but he just said an ad lib like three times and Drake and his team labeled it as a feature. However, when the song dropped to streaming platforms, Cardi was no longer featured and those like ad libs that were technically the feature. No vice. No vice. No vice. Wasn't included. So, you know, some Drake fans were kind of confused. Yo, why didn't he clear this? Why not? I mean, it seems pretty clear right now that Cardi's team, Weekend, Future, Atlanta. And it's kind of crazy to me that Drake even thought that Cardi would be on his side. Just, you know, considering how hard it was for Drake to even get a feature from Cardi in the first place. If you don't know what I'm referring to, Pain1993, Drake was apparently waiting for that feature forever. And then Ian Connor had to like finally put it together. But anyways, it's pretty clear that Cardi and The Weeknd are locked in right now. And, you know, all the politics aside, this is huge for Cardi because The Weeknd, his numbers are just gargantuan. It's like crazy. The Weeknd was number one on Spotify for like a year. He had like 100 million monthly. It was crazy. No, Blinding Lights is a massive hit. You know what I mean? He actually had a number one hit on Billboard before Drake. Fun fact. So, yeah, it is what it is. Drake's still number one. Anyways, we're not going to go comparing The Weeknd and Drake. So, other than that, Playboy Cardi has also been posting up in a ton of jerseys. Most recently, he was posted in a Brooklyn Nets jersey, and on his hat, there was a design that said All Red, and he was in a private with Tim's on, and he had the backwards jersey, which he's kind of been bringing back, to be honest. But anyways, this is the third jersey he's posted, and the first time he's directly promoted All Red on social media, he actually performed it at Summer Smash, and if you guys want to know the story of how this single became the lead single for his album's rollout, it's because like a, a snippet from an iCloud leaked and it just gained hype and I guess now I'm sure the label wants Cardi to drop it. I'm sure he's probably down with it too. And from what I've heard, it's honestly amazing. So anyways, it seems like every NBA team is posting play with Cardi after they see him rocking one of their jerseys. Not only did the Brooklyn Nets post him, the Orlando Magic and Atlanta Hawks both posted him. It's just kind of funny. I don't know. And I'm not gonna lie, after seeing how fast Playboy Cardi has been able to revitalize his rollout and gain hype again, and just not to glaze, but just steal the attention of every young rap fan, it's pretty impressive. And it makes more and more sense why Billboard named him as the power player of the year. Because if you think about it, it really does make a lot of sense. He fits that title perfectly. And what's kind of crazy about Cardi, if you think about it, is he's been on some of the largest artists in the world's biggest songs this year. Travis Scott's biggest song, Fiend, Cardi's on it. Future's biggest song, Type Shit, he's on it. The Weeknd's most recent largest song, Cardi's on it. Kanye's most recent largest song, he's on it. He's even on Camilla Cabello's biggest song. I just named you four of the largest rappers and a pretty big pop star. Anyways, back to All Red. Apparently, it was confirmed as a single for Friday the 13th, but these types of news updates come from the Cardi community all the time, and I don't know how people fall for it, but they just say like, like for example, this time they said a UMG rep. Why would a UMG rep be in contact with a Discord bot? <laughs> like, this makes no sense. You know what I mean? And what's funny is right after 
they posted this news like a day or like a couple hours later they were like the umg rep has now retracted the statement it's like bro is the umg rep in the room with like come on but to be honest i really should have known or we all really should have known that the rollout would be fine i mean when he went to brazil to perform with the weekend a fan broke into his hotel in brazil and spoke with like some of his groupies so you know people go crazy over cardi um but of course I'm sure you also are wondering when will the album most likely drop and it looks like the album will probably drop the same time as whole lot of red december i think that it's really smart for cardi to hype this up because i feel like with a whole lot of red not having a single it was good for the surprise factor because you know well technically dropped at man everyone thought oh whole lot of red's about to drop and then nothing happened for like nine months hopefully that doesn't happen again it was really good because it kept fans on their toes all the way until the album released but i think if you have a snippet like all red that fans are feeding for it's a song that will probably do well commercially as well and then factor in the fact that lead singles really push album sales it's just a smart move the thing is how far is he going to leave that buffer between a lead single and an album by the way i'm just saying as if all red is going to drop it seems like all red is going to drop september 13th but back to what i was saying having a buffer of like two three months might be a little too much like cardi might drop october or november makes more sense to me at least it also means that Ken Carson is not dropping anytime soon. Or if he does, it'll be like right before Cardi. But I don't think the way Cardi moves, because he definitely has somewhat of an ego, he'll allow anybody around him to do anything while he's having a rollout. If you don't remember, he didn't allow Iggy Azalea to announce the birth of his child because it would fuck up his rollout. <laughs> yeah, so, you know. Um, and about the likeliness of All Red dropping on September 13th, I feel like it's pretty likely. I mean, you can't just do all this promo and then drop a song that doesn't go on all platforms. It's just, it's just too much. You know what I mean? So I feel like he finally is going to drop. There was also this other piece of news that was being shared online that Future was dropping another tape called Mixtape Pluto. And it actually got pushed back because Cardi was dropping All Red on that date. Another thing to keep in mind is both Drake and Kendrick Lamar seem to be gearing up to drop a project and they're huge artists. So Cardi has to find like a pocket or a window for him to drop. Not saying that his listeners are going to compete with Drake or Kendrick, but it's kind of just like a label promotion thing. Like, you know, it's going to be tough for his album to get that type of push if two massive rap acts drop at the same time or around the same time. There's no way they all drop on the same week or either of them. If that makes sense. So anyways, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. These are just my thoughts on how Playboy Cardi saved his rollout in the fourth quarter. All right. Take care. Bye. I'm gonna say, wait, why did I... Yeah, I don't know why I keep doing this. Like, I'll say bye and then, like, have a nice day. And then I'll say something else and then I'll repeat it. And then I'll say something else and I'll repeat it. It's just like, all right, see you guys.